Well, as New Yorkers get back to work, going to dinner and booking trips again, many are looking for a post-lockdown style refresh. Teresa Priolo takes a look at the top products people are buying after a year of getting back to basics with what's in their closet. People are just like, I don't want the joggers and the hoodie anymore. Like, I want to buy myself something special and something nice. As we slowly begin to reemerge after more than a year tucked inside our homes, the time has come for men and women alike to reevaluate and reimagine their wardrobes. According to smart shopper Trebaj, the data shows shoppers want to spend. I think we got lazy and we were comfortable and at home and didn't have to go anywhere. And now if we're going to go back to the office, we want to feel good. And so I do expect to see some little spikes in luxury, um, some other spikes in kind of mid-tier clothing as well as people kind of jazz up their wardrobes. Jazzing up the wardrobe with a fancy dress, a power suit, or even upgraded athleisure. But it's all signaling some really positive kind of confidence in how people are thinking about life. Jade Huang is the co-founder and CEO of analytics firm Style Sage. Activewear is still pretty dominant, though, because I think a lot of people are trying to shed those COVID pounds. But the biggest seller within the category... Polo is actually dominant, so I don't know if there's more women getting into golf, because that tends to be um, either golf or tennis. And speaking of COVID pounds, shapewear like Spanx are as popular as ever, with women relying on the extra support to help them reintegrate into society. The last little boost coming from eyelash curlers and beauty sets, with makeup and skincare selling like hotcakes. Replenishing your, your regular beauty routine. The other one is beauty sets are more condensed and compact so that it's maybe good for travel and you get everything in once. And the other thing is a shifting away from a lot of DIY facial and skincare treatments to like sun cream. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.